So hello, can you present yourself, please? Yeah, hi. Uh, my name is Mark, and I'm an implementation manager with Carbon Robotics. Can you please present the Carbon Robotics company? Yeah, so uh, our company, Carbon Robotics, uh, we're headquartered out of Seattle, Washington. And right now we have uh, multiple units in the United States, Canada, and we've just started international expansion, uh, delivering our first laser weeder to Victoria, Australia. Uh, what is the Carbon Robotics technology? We've developed a laser weeder for farmers to use to solve their weeding problems. Um, this machine is equipped with 30 CO2 lasers. They're all 150 watt CO2 lasers. Um, and it uses an optics based system uh, with a combination of machine learning and AI to help target and eliminate weeds and tell the difference between the crop and the weeds. Okay, Mark, can we have a quick tour on the machine? Yeah. So you can explain us uh, a little bit how does it work? Yeah, let me show you around. The machine is powered by a front PTO and we have this genset as you can see here. We have an option of the front PTO or we do have a diesel generator, but most farmers go with the front PTO. So the power unit has this umbilical which runs along to our machine and that's what powers the whole thing. It's pretty simple for the most part. We've got laser power supply units that power the lasers. Inside the cabinet here are our scanners. This is what the lasers shoot into, where the information is tweaks everything and redirects the laser beams to shoot. Um, inside this cabinet here are the brains of the operation. These are our computers. Uh, we have an AC to keep that cool. And on this side, we have a chiller. And the purpose of the chiller is to send cool water through all of the coolant lines, um, keeping these lasers nice and cool because they're creating a lot of energy. So you can show us a little bit how does it work? Yeah. So if we're going to start up, we would turn the machine on first, then we're going to walk over to the cab. All right, so once we have it turned on, we would then go and engage the PTO, then we would set it to the proper RPMs. I mean, the engine limit is 1,000 RPMs, uh, and the engine speed goes up to 1,710 for this new Holland model, and that sends the power over here, and you will know that it's all running when the uh, strobe lights... Uh, I have a question. Is it your own terminal? Yeah, so we have our own app, and it runs through an iPad. Um, it's really simple. Our whole goal was to make the user interface as easy as possible. So here you can see an example of what it looks like where we have a speed estimator, lets you know if you're ready to weed or not, the crop selection, jobs, and some of the other specifics that we have. You can see total weeds killed, time weeded, etc. Also we see the number of weeds killed here. Yep, so total hours has been five for us and we've already killed 742,000. That's crazy. Yeah, really cool. But that's it. That's that's as easy as getting this thing going. Once it's ready and this shows that it's green, you're off to the races. So basically, that's the only interface between the human and the machine. That's right. That's it. And the farmer is basically can basically operate the machine very quick. Yeah. So we wanted to make it as simple as possible, so guys can just get straight to weeding. So you get it fired up. And right now, the operator's main job is to follow our speed estimator. That's taking into consideration what the optics are seeing, how many weeds there are, and the size of those weeds. And we're calculating a speed so that we can get the highest efficiency. We have just about every crop in our database. So we have models created. Um, however, there are some instances where we get into a new geography or a new soil type, new weeds, and we might need to create a, a new model. But straight out the gate, it's ready to go right away. If we do need to create a new model, we just capture new images that get labeled through our machine learning process. Um, and one of the things we are really good at is being able to turn around a new model within 48 uh, to 72 hours. Concerning the, the price of such a machine, you just arrived in the Australian market. Can you give us maybe a range of price? Yeah, so uh, the laser weeder is 1.48 million US. Um, and that comes with the machine delivery, your implementation, and all of your support. Uh, so no additional cost to, to add on the machine? Uh, there's a hardware service plan, um, and there's different tiers that you can choose from that cover some of the wear and tear, uh, laser replacements, et cetera. Um, but for the most part, yeah, the, the bulk cost of that is 1.48. That's right. All right, thank you very much.